liquid fuels are absolutely essential for sustainable sustainable aviation it's a law of physics but especially when it comes to long haul flights there are no alternatives electrification hydrogen and energy efficiency will all reduce the need for liquid fuels overall but we'll still clearly need some liquids and the great news is that everything we need still in 2050 can be climate neutral 100% renewable and that means no petroleum in the feedstock and also they can be made mainly in Europe. Uh, liquid and gas gaseous uh, renewable and low carbon fuels will certainly have an important role to play in helping us cut aviation and maritime emissions by 2030. We need to address the chicken and egg situation on very low production and uh, demand for sustainable alternative fuels in aviation and uh, waterborne transport. And we need to do this quickly and uh, decisively. Low carbon liquid fuels are um, uh, part of uh, the energy mix uh, and we should take them into account as, uh, uh, as a such and uh, especially for um, aviation and maritime and uh, the heavy duty uh, transport, uh, they will uh, play a significant, significant uh, role. E-fuels will not slow down electrification and transport. Electrification is the number one option. E-fuels should be used where we don't see an economic solution right now, but we should at some point have the, let's say, um, an incentive for the uptake of the e-fuels. That's why we say it's important to put it also in the regulation for, for example, the passenger cars. The good thing with the EU at the moment is we have the discussion how the electrification should go on, how the hydrogen should go on, and for us e-fuel or low carbon fuels is just a third pillar. We need to have a clear and consistent strategy. In a framework of a technology neutral approach, we will consider biofuels as a, an important part to uh, reach the CO2 target, especially in this transitional phase. In short, low carbon liquid fuels, renewable as much as possible, could play a role in the transition, but they're currently hampered, as mentioned, by their scarcity and their cost. Uh, and ultimately, if they're made available for the consumers easily and in an affordable way, they should definitely have a role to play in the medium term. It is not the internal combustion engine which causes CO2 challenges. It is the fossil fuel. And if we would not lose credibility, we have to act quickly.